The pandemic has taken a toll on the economy as a whole, and service organizations and nonprofits were especially hard hit. The MS Society provides medical research, services, and advocacy at the state and national levels for about a million people with a debilitating and unpredictable autoimmune disease. Amanda Payne of the MS Society said coronavirus dealt a heavy blow. Absolutely. So any nonprofit organization like the National MS Society that does a lion's share of its fundraising in this peer-to-peer fundraising event space, we all saw a tremendous hit as a result of the pandemic. Um, and I am so proud of the work that the Walk MS campaign did and all of our amazingly passionate volunteers rallied in like in spite of all the difficulties and hurdles placed in their way. Um, and from like that mid-March point where we'd only brought in $5 million, um, we ended with a total of $24 million raised um, in 2020. And I think that's phenomenal. Yeah, that really is, the, right. The magnitude of the impact, right? like we've seen things happen, like natural disasters where there's like regionalized impact, but this is global. It was um, something that none of us had ever had any experience with, right? So when it all started, we're just like, what's going to happen? Um, but I was amazed to see the resiliency of our Walk MS volunteers and fundraisers nationally and what they were able to rally together to to collectively achieve. Um, and I'm getting to witness that again um, in 2021 as we get ready for our Walk MS Move Forward Your Way 2021 season, knowing going into it that we are having virtual event celebrations. Um, and so it's just been really inspiring to see the very passionate people coming out to still continue to support the campaign, and some of them even doing even better than they've done in previous fundraising years. It's just been amazing to see mm, yeah. what people can like collectively accomplish. Um, it's pretty spectacular. So what is, what's changed now? I mean, a lot of things have gone virtual, and uh, so what's a virtual MS walk compared to the in-person events? Um, so clearly, we're not going to be having an in-person gathering, so that's a big change. <laughs> um, but yeah, this right. year, um, this year we've had time, right? Like we we converted everything over to being um, virtual walks in the spring last year without having any prior knowledge that it was going to happen, and we kind of learned on the fly and figured out a plan <laughs> and made it work in 2020. Coming into 2021, we wanted to make the call for the safety of our Walk MS participants. Um, at the onset of events opening up for registration on that. So we made the decision on the very front end to have a virtual season just out of, for safety, not wanting to bring a number of people together that are closely impacted by MS and potentially immunocompromised because uh, 86% of our walk participants are directly impacted by MS or live in a household with someone who is living with MS. So it's a very... Right. Um, mission heavy campaign for the society. Uh, and so this year it's, we've had time to plan and put together uh, a series of engagement opportunities to bring our team cap- captains together virtually to conduct a series of pep rallies to infuse some excitement into the campaign. And we've also launched um, what we are calling our Walk MS on demand virtual experience, um, which is Um, a desktop or a mobile device-driven Walk MS experience. Um, And it gives you a lot of the elements that people are excited about at the in-person event at at your fingertips. So you can access it on your computer or on your mobile device. You can visit virtual sponsor booths. You can make an I Walk for MS um, or I Walk for virtual bib. You can browse the virtual bib gallery to see what all of our walkers across the country are walking for and who they're walking for. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it's providing a virtual engagement opportunity that we did not have the um, like the ability to plan and put together for last year. So that's one of the big things that changed this year is with having all of the time to prepare, we've been able to put together some very unique and different ways for people to engage with the Walk MS campaign leading up to their scheduled walk day and even following the walk day. Our on-demand platform is going to be open through the calendar year. 
Um, so people can still continue to get in there, check out our national pharmaceutical sponsors, our local sponsors, um, and do all, learn about all of the things that are posted in that on-demand virtual experience. So just to be clear, there, there won't be like a, uh, like a physical MS walk, say, uh, walk MS in, in Woodlands this Saturday. It is completely virtual. It is completely virtual. We are encouraging our Walk MS participants to do what is comfortable with them. So whether that is taking a walk in your community, if you are comfortable getting together with a small group of your team and doing a socially distant walk in a park, absolutely do what is within your comfort. Um, and just we ask that you ensure that everyone stays safe. Um, that is the driving force behind our decision making to have the virtual walk season. Um, so this year, literally all routes are going to lead to an end to MS. Um, and the only limitation of, of how you celebrate it is your own imagination and your own creativity. Um, literally anything can be your walk MS celebration this year. We're calling it Move Forward Your Way for a very specific reason, um, because you are in the driver's seat, not only as to how you celebrate the campaign, but also when. So yes, this Saturday, April 10th is our schedule day for all Texas walk sites to celebrate the campaign. Uh, fundraising is going to be open through, until September 30th. And so if you are a walk team that typically does some type of in-person wraparound event to drive your fundraising and you want to wait until more people are vaccinated, like you have the freedom to do that. Like you can do an event late summer, early fall, and as long as everything is wrapped up and your funds are in by September 30th, it would still count towards this 2021 walk season. Um, and you can execute it in your way. All right, great. And uh, finally, what, what is the website that we can learn more about Walk MS? Um, absolutely, it's um, easy. It's www.walkms.org. All right, that works. I, I did check the the weather for Saturday, and it's going to be 83 degrees and a light breeze, so sounds really perfect. Yeah, I, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for people to get out and celebrate the campaign in their own unique and different ways. Um, and I look forward to having people take videos and photos and share them on social media with our hashtags, um, walk, hashtag WalkMS and hashtag Move Forward Your Way. All right. Well, thank you, Amanda. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, absolutely. For the People's News, this is John Moeller reporting.